Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sushant Chaspais. Today we are at the next topic that is secrets of pawn and games and we are going to learn alternative methods of winning with an extra pawn. This is the position with white to play. We can see in this position that white is a pawn up but his pawn structure on the queen side is ruined. Generally if the pawn would be on a2 then white would have won very easily with a3 then b4 and then c5 and after exchange on c5 the king would march towards the f pawn and give up his c pawn and promote his f pawn to queen. That is the standard method but here what has happened a4 must have happened already and after which white has won the pawn. So he has got into this end again. Situation looks tricky now. See the first problem is if kd3 then black just goes kc6 and whenever white king comes to c3 he goes kc5. Here too there are two methods of winning. I will discuss about one of them right now briefly. One is the difficult concept of creating a triangulation. See these three squares d6, c6 and c5 are covered by d4, d3 and c3. So what happens whenever king on c5 white has kc3, whenever white has kd3 black has kc6, whenever white has kd4 black has kd6. So white just wastes the move with the move here see kd3 kc6 and now he can do kc2. King will move in a triangle and waste one move. Now see this king is struggling. If the king goes to c5 then we play direct kc3. If the king goes to d6 then kd2 and now we force the black king to come to c6. So what will happen if he goes back to c7 we would simply get c kc3 followed by b4 very easily and we will create a puzzle. And suppose he goes kc6 then we go kd3 getting the same starting position with black's move. So if kc5 then kc3 kd6 and if he goes back we have the move b4. So what happens white will be able to create a first form very easily and he will win. So this is the more complex method but here white has another way which is where he sacrifices a pawn and puts black in a zugzuan. So and that is the move b4. See the concept is simple white is temporarily giving up a pawn after a takes b4 he will just do kb3 and now see the black king has to leave the b pawn that is why white has fixed the pawn on the other side so that now there is no other pawn move for black and now we note that after kd4 kb4 whenever we give such a pawn we should ensure that the resulting race of the kings grabbing the pawn and pawn race should be favorable for us so after ke4 let us try to think how it will win. If we analyze this kind of position against a, with a computer then they suggest the move kb5. But with kb5 what will happen there will be unnecessary race of pawn. See after king f4, kb6, ke3 there will be a5, f4, a6, f3, a7, f2, a8, f1 and after the simultaneous queens come on the board it's a very risky situation well computers can handle those positions very easily they have got large databases so many positions they already know and of course its calculation ability is much much higher but when a human is pawn up he never wants such a race of pawn he wants to win the game very easily he wants to promote his queen first faster than the enemy pawn so he wants to ensure that his queen comes first and here white had seen that after c5 now see king f4 is very slow because cb6 and the pawn queens in three moves so bc5 kc5 king takes f4 and now see the race a5 ke3 a6 f4 a7 f3 a8 equal to queen f2 the pawn just reaches the 7th rank. If the king would be on g3 then white would just play qh1 place his queen in front of the pawn. Otherwise here white can do queen a6, kf3, queen f1, kg3, kd4 bring his king closer and grab the f pawn by force. Let's say kf3, kd3, 
kg4, ke3, and then take on f2. Only care is needed when ever we give king h5, we should not try to block the king this way, which would lead to stalemate. Otherwise, white would win very easily. So, with a slightly inferior pawn structure, also white was able to win the game because he could use the technique of pawn sacrifice which are the alternate methods one is the pawn sacrifice method and other is the triangulation one you can check out my previous lessons on triangulation which will make the concept even more clear i hope you are finding these lessons useful and instructive do let me know in the comments below thanks for your time